Okay, the next topic uh, that we have to discuss uh, is about the taboo search. Uh, in continuation of our uh, simulated annealing that we discussed in the previous class, in the previous class we discussed about uh, the uh, simulated annealing. Uh, this is also a heuristic type of search, the taboo search. And uh, in taboo search also, this is a single, uh, what is it, uh, single individual type of probe, uh, type of method. It is um, uh, in the case of genetic algorithm, there is a population of uh, different solutions are available. But in the case of simulated annealing, you saw that uh, there is only a single solution in hand. Uh, we are considering only a single solution at uh, one time. And in Tabo search also, this is the same case. So we are considering only a single solution at times. And uh, obviously, we have to generate a neighborhood of that particular solution. And uh, at that point only, we will be having multiple solutions uh, at hand. So uh, we will discuss about the Tabo search. Okay. Uh, the Tabo search was uh, introduced by Fred, uh, Fred Glover in 1989. And uh, it is a type of heuristic search uh, rather than saying it as a and uh, what is a uh, natural evolution uh, type of search it is a heuristic search and it is uh, mainly used for solving the combinatorial optimization problems as well as hard problems also uh, that uh, difficult to solve problems uh, or the problems which it takes uh, uh, more than a reasonable time to solve this type of problems can be solved using the tabo search and uh, uh, in short term, it gets the op op local optimum. That is, if you are running the taboo search for only a short term uh, running, or if you are using only a short term memory type concept, then uh, we will get the local optimum. And uh, if we go for the long term, then there uh, should be some intensification strategy as well as diversification strategy should be included. And uh, in that case, mostly the local optimum is left, and uh, we uh, get the global optimum but as in every heuristic search the global optimum is not guaranteed but in most of the cases we will get uh, global optimum and uh, in all the cases we will get very close to the global optimum and uh, in tabo search actually there is some sort of memory is also involved because uh, uh, we are keeping we are keeping uh, a, uh, what you say, a close watch on the previous moves that we have completed or the previous solutions that we have uh, discussed or we have reached so that in order to avoid the repetition of visiting the same solutions again and again. So let's see how it is being done. And this, uh, this slide gives you a, a brief idea about what is a heuristic search. It is a, a heuristic search is nothing but an experienced search. Experienced search in the sense that uh, we know something about the problem. We are experienced about the, uh, the terrain of that particular problem. So we know where to search for or how to search, not where to search, but how to search for a, a good solution or, a, or how to search for a better solution. That is the experience research. It is also known as the rule of thumb. That is, uh, uh, in the case, if a ball is lost in a terrain, then the rule of thumb is that uh, it will uh, it will be resting at the lowest point in that particular terrain. So in a, if uh, a ball is lost in a land, uh, then in, in a piece of land, then if you are to search for that ball, the uh, basic concept is that the ball will be resting at its lowest point in that particular land so that is uh, the rule of thumb or uh, it is the heuristic and uh, obviously the heuristic doesn't always find the best solution and uh, obviously it guarantees a good solution in reasonable time it uh, sacrificing completeness uh, it increases the efficiency the side completeness in the sense that uh, not always we are getting the uh, best solution and uh, we will be getting somewhere around the uh, best solution that is a near so nearer to the best solution is obtained and uh, by sacrificing the completeness completeness in the sense of getting the best solution it increases the efficiency that is uh, the solution is obtained in a reasonably good time that is uh, uh, some problems if uh, while doing the literature review or while searching for your problems you might have seen that in be hard problems and uh, uh, so that sort of problems. So that sort of problems mostly takes uh, somewhere around years to complete uh, 
evaluate all the solutions and get the optimal solution that is the best possible solution so in that sense uh, the heuristic search uh, sacrifices the completeness that is the optimal solution is not obtained but it, it is the best uh, the somewhere around the near optimal solution is obtained in a shorter period of time so that is how it is uh, uh, increasing the efficiency and obviously it is useful in solving the tough problems tough problems in the sense uh, the hard problems in the NP hard problems the combinatorial optimization problems as well as the problems which it takes um, a lot of time to solve in a heuristic search the steps involved are we generate a possible solution which can either be a point in the problem space or a path from the initial state as uh, we generate an initial population in genetic algorithm and an initial solution in simulated annealing in heuristic search as well as in taboo search also we generate a single solution a first solution is initially generated then uh, we tested to see if this possible solution is a real solution by comparing the state reached with the set of world states. So the, then we test this particular solution with the uh, other possible solutions or the uh, states that is that is already reached. This particular solution is compared with the other solutions that we have already uh, reached or if we know the world states, if we know the uh, exactly which solution is required in that case we can compare uh, with the Google state that is uh, how the fitness is being compared so but uh, in most of the cases the goal state is not known to us but we have a relative comparison of the goal state uh, that is the current solution and as well as the next solution which is best better so that way we can compare so if it is a real solution then we return that is uh, there is no possible improvement in the current solution then that is the best solution possible so then it is being returned otherwise we repeat uh, from one that is we again uh, generate a possible solution so this is the way how the heuristic search goes on and in the case of taboo search uh, the characteristics of the taboo search are the it is the capability of getting global solution instead of global uh, local solution in most of the cases i'm not saying in all the cases but in most of the cases the, the taboo search uh, gives you the global solution instead of the local solution or a near optimal or near to the global solution is obtained in most of the cases then uh, we keep a taboo list a taboo list is a list of uh, list of solutions that we have already uh, visited or it may be a list of moves that we have already done so that is that we will discuss uh, in the coming session so then uh, the taboo list can avoid repeating trivial search that is uh, uh, we doesn't repeat the say uh, search on the same space or the on the same solution again and again but in the case of simulated annealing as well as uh, genetic algorithm we don't know uh, whether a particular solution has been already visited or not so that is the difficulty with that sort of uh, solution procedures in the case of uh, simulated annealing it is uh, possible that a cyclic uh, uh, cyclic searching of uh, the solutions is being done without any improvement so that can be avoided in the case of taboo search then uh, the taboo search is i mean the taboo list is uh, updated in order to speed up searching that is the we keep a taboo list a taboo list is nothing but a list of possible moves or possible solutions that we have already uh, discussed or we have already visited then the different elements in the case of taboo such as the neighborhood solution you know what is a neighborhood solution a solution which must exist in a set of feasible solution and which is not in the taboo list so uh, that particular solution that if in the case of taboo search a neighborhood solution is a solution which is set, uh, which is uh, taken from a set of feasible solution and this particular solution should not be in the taboo list that is it should not have been visited before that is the condition then a move is a change from the current solution to its neighborhood solution that is in order to create a neighborhood solution what we do is we does a move so that is a uh, if uh, this one two three four five if this is a solution 
then v does have move like uh, 2 and 3 are interchanged so 1 3 2 4 5 this is another solution so this type of swapping if we does swapping uh, all possible types of swapping in this particular solution if we does all possible type of uh, swapping in this particular solution then then it can be considered as a set of all the swap uh, swap the uh, swap neighborhood solutions so that is how the uh, neighborhood is generated and uh, the move is any change any change that is uh, two two three and uh, uh, replacing two with the three and the three with the two that is a move that is a change and the tabu list the tabu list is actually a short-term memory which records the solutions that have been visited in the recent past and we are not keeping the list of uh, uh, keeping the list of all the uh, solutions that we have dis uh, discussed uh, earlier or we have visited earlier so in that case uh, as the algorithm progresses this uh, memory required uh, required to keep the tabu list will be very large as well as the time to search in the tabu list is also uh, very large so in that so what we does is we keep a fixed memory size and uh, when that memory is full uh, if a new item comes the last item the, the first item that was inserted into the tab list is removed so that way we are doing so uh, keeping a tab list avoids repeating the search uh, in uh, general the tab list has a fixed size as we said it is has a fixed size to memorize and it allows the first in first out to maintain the list that is if a new item uh, if the table list is full and a new item comes to the table list then the first uh, item that was inserted into uh, the table list is removed so that is how the first in first out is done in the case of table search then there is an aspiration criteria uh, we said that if a particular solution is within the table list we doesn't search or we doesn't evaluate that particular solution again but in the, the aspiration criteria gives a condition where we can uh, take a solution from the table list also so that is when a solution in the table list is better that is a table in the table list if we find a solution which is better than the currently known best solution then that particular solution the currently known best solution is replaced with the solution from the table list so that is how it works so that is known as the aspiration criteria. So uh, normally a solution from the table list is not considered while searching the neighborhood solutions. But uh, if we apply the aspiration criteria, what we does is if a better solution is found in the table list, then the current solution is replaced with the solution from the table list. So that is uh, what is uh, the aspiration criteria. Then the stopping criteria. The stopping conditions can be the maximum iterative numbers, that is the maximum number of iterations that is happening uh, in the table search, or the maximum times which counts when objective functions value doesn't improve. So that there is a uh, there is no improvement in the objective function value for a certain number of iterations. So that is uh, another condition. Then the longest default execution time of CPU, that is also a possible uh, stopping condition. Or when the object's functions, objective functions output is acceptable. That is, uh, uh, we feel that the objective functions output is acceptable within this particular range of uh, values. Then in that case, if the objective function reaches within that particular range, then we can accept that solution. So that is also another stopping criteria. These are the main stopping criteria that is uh, used in the table search. You may in, uh, incorporate any other type of stopping criteria that is uh, that we commonly use in the case of simulated annealing algorithm or genetic algorithm. And the table search algorithm. Uh, in the case of table search algorithm, we initially set k equal to 1. k is the iteration number. So we set k is equal to 1. Then we select s1 and set s0 is set as s1. So select s1 is, uh, uh, we select a single solution, s1 is a single solution. 
and then what we do is we set this particular s1 as the s0 s0 is the solution that is being output output to uh, or that is that that will be uh, the best solution that is uh, being uh, that has been visited so far then what we does is we select an sc from the n sk so this n sk is the neighborhood of sk in this case k is 1 so in the first iteration it will be the neighborhood of s1 so s1 is this particular solution the solution initially generated then a neighborhood of that particular solution is found out and then from this solution this set of solutions this set of neighborhood solutions we select a particular solution that is the candidate solution then if the move sk to sc is on the tabu list that is uh, we have a sk already here in this particular iteration it is s1 so if we move s1 to sc if that particular thing is already uh, in the tabu list this particular solution this sc is already in the tabu list then we what we does is s of k plus 1 is uh, k plus 1 is replaced with sk so that is the s1 s1 solution is taken to the next level that is s of 2 s2 will be equal to s1 in that case and then again we go to the step 3 uh, set k equal to k plus 1 that is the iteration number is uh, increased to one more uh, then if sk to sc is not in the tabu list that is this particular solution is not already in the tabu list then what we does is the sk plus 1 that is s2 is set as SC, the newly generated solution. And add the reverse move to the top of the tabu list. Then the reverse move, that is how this particular solution is arrived. That one is uh, reversed and it is added to the uh, tabu list. And uh, if the tabu list is full, then we delete the entry on the bottom. And uh, if uh, the objective function of objective function of SC is less than the objective function of S0. S0 we have already selected here and if it is less then we set S0 equal to SC. So in that case, in that way we are always keeping the best solution at hand. Then we go to the next generation that is K equal to K plus 1. So it, in this case K equal to 1 plus 1 that is 2. So uh, if stopping criteria is reached then we stop it else we go to the stop 2. Then uh, again the next uh, uh, set of solutions the next uh, neighborhood solutions are generated and this is how the tabu search algorithm works now this is the flow chart corresponding to the standard tabu search algorithm the initial the initial solution first we go for the initial solution then create a candidate list of solutions the neighborhood list is created then we evaluate the solutions that choose the best admissible solution among this one then we check whether the stopping condition is satisfied or not. If it is satisfied, we go to the final solution. If it is not, we update the taboo as well as the aspiration conditions are updated. So while choosing the best admissible solutions, we check for the taboo list also, whether that particular solution can be used in the, uh, used here or can uh, is, uh, whether this particular solution is in the taboo list or not that is also being checked. Then the primary features of the tabu search are the, the adaptive memory. That is, uh, it remembers the features of good or bad solutions that uh, we encounter. So that is the condition. So it keeps a tabu list. A tabu list is uh, a list of previously visited solutions or it can be the previously done moves. So that is that depends on the type of the problem that is in our hand. So uh, it remembers the tabu uh, search remembers it has an adaptive memory. It remembers the uh, good and uh, or bad solutions. Then it is uh, responsive exploration. That is, uh, uh, exploration is based on the past exploration. What we have explored in the past. So based on that, we are doing the exploration in the current in the present uh, condition. So these are the primary features of uh, the tabu search. Then the basic algorithmic features is that uh, uh, it will always move to the best available neighborhood solution. 
the best available neighborhood solution is always selected even if it is worse than the current solution so that is the condition we have a current solution which has a good fitness and in the neighborhood solution the none of the solutions is as good as this one but still we we move to the uh, best solution that is available in the neighborhood <coughs> sorry then it maintain a list of solution points that must be avoided or a list of move features that are not allowed so this is referred to as a taboo list that is it keeps a taboo list uh, the uh, items of which should be avoided uh, while doing uh, while searching then the taboo list is updated based on some memory structure the memory structure can be the entire solution or it can be a specific schemata or scheme of that particular solution etc then uh, it is known as the short term memory that is we are keeping the memory structure then uh, we remove the taboo moves after some time period has elapsed so that is known as the tenure of this uh, uh, taboo that is say the size of the taboo list is 10 and if an 11 by item comes in then obviously the first item uh, that was inserted into the uh, taboo list should be removed and that is known as the tenure that is the time uh, time period in which a particular move is within the taboo list uh, then it allow for exceptions from the taboo list that is the aspiration criteria as i said uh, the taboo some exceptions to the taboo list is also given that is known as the aspiration criteria uh, and in some cases we can expand the search area modify the tenure or size of the taboo list these are all possible on different types of uh, taboo searches on advanced versions of taboo search so you can expand the search area by modifying the tenure or size of the taboo list the size of the taboo list can be increased as the algorithm uh, progresses as the search progresses the size of the taboo list can be increased or it can be decreased also no problem uh, the short term memory taboo search uh, short term memory component this is actually the algorithm of the taboo search itself we begin with the starting a solution then we create a candidate list of moves. Then we choose the best admissible candidate. Then the stopping criterion is checked. If the stopping criterion is reached, we stop. Then we terminate globally or this particular solution is transferred to the previous condition. So then uh, the con continue update the admissibility conditions. That is the taboo restrictions and aspiration criteria uh, are uh, what you say updated and this is uh, in order to keep the short term memory the short term memory component the, uh, how the short term memory component inside the taboo search works that is explained by this flowchart uh, it is uh, similar to the algorithm of uh, our uh, taboo search itself Then the aspiration criteria. The aspiration criteria is the criteria which allows a taboo move to be accepted under certain conditions. So that we have already said how the taboo move is accepted using the aspiration criteria. And the most common aspiration criterion is if the move finds a new best solution, then accept the move even if the move is a taboo. So uh, even if that particular move is within the taboo list, uh, if that move gives you a best a better solution then obviously we have to move to that particular solution that is uh, the aspiration criteria then uh, how to select the best admissible candidate so what we does is we evaluate each candidate move that is the uh, how each members in the neighborhood is uh, being generated that we evaluate first then we check for the taboo status uh, if uh, that one is uh, we evaluate then we check whether uh, does the move yield a higher evaluation than any other move found admissible so far so if uh, we if a be better solution is found if we a better solution is found in that case we check the taboo status uh, we check whether this particular move is within the taboo list or not 
if it is within the taboo list then we check for the aspiration level so does that particular move satisfy the aspiration criteria if aspiration criteria is satisfied then that move is admissible that is the that particular move can be done if uh, it is not inside the if that particular move is not inside the taboo list or if that particular solution is not inside the taboo list then we can go for the uh, move that is that move can be accepted then the candidate list is checked uh, is there a good probability of better moves left or should the candidate list be extended so that is how it is being done uh, then again if it is yes then we have to evaluate each candidate uh, if it is no then uh, we accept the currently chosen best admissible move as our uh, next to move so that is how the uh, tabo search does the or uh, find out the best admissible candidate okay we can uh, with uh, this uh, simple example we will wind up the class there is a single machine scheduling program that is only there will be only a single machine and four jobs are to be machined four jobs are to be uh, processed to do that particular single machine and this particular pj dj as well as wj values this represents the pj is the uh, processing time processing time for each uh, machine i mean each uh, job inside that particular machine and dj is the setup time for that particular machine uh, setup time that is uh, uh, that is to be employed for the single machine scheduling then uh, the problem is commonly uh, denoted as well. this type of single machine scheduling problem is commonly denoted like this 1 bar dj bar sigma wj tj so then the neighborhood is all schedules that can be obtained through adjacent pairwise interchanges that is to the neighborhood that is being selected is the only the pairwise exchange the swap uh, exchange the swap mutation neighborhood is selected then the taboo list is pairs of jobs that were swapped within the last two moves. Uh, the, that means the taboo list consists of only two moves. And uh, the uh, in that one, the pairs of jobs that were swapped is the taboo list. So this is our S1, that is the current solution, that is uh, 2143. S1 is 2143. This is the initial solution. Then we find out the WJ, Sigma WJ TJ value that is found out as the 500. This is the function best, the solution, the best solution. The currently known best solution is this one, that is up to 500. Then we go for all the possible uh, neighborhood. We are considering only three, three solutions, three uh, solutions are selected. One, two, four, that is uh, one and uh, this uh, one and two are selected. Uh, swapped together that is how this 1 2 4 3 is obtained so when this solution is 1 2 4 3 the fitness function is 480 and then 2 4 1 3 2 4 1 3 1 and 4 is swapped together so 1 and 2 4 is swapped together so then the solution is 436 then 2 1 3 4 2 1 3 4 3 and 4 are swapped together. So you obtain that is 21434. Uh, then it is the solution is 652. The best among these solutions, the best among these solutions is this one. This is the best among these solutions. So that particular solution is taken as the F best, the uh, best solution, as well as S2 is also taken as this one. This one will be the S2. The next uh, solution that is the accepted solution is this one so in the s2 it is 2 4 1 3 2 4 1 3 while s2 is generated this particular swapping was the move that was done in order to obtain this solution so what we does is we change we insert this particular move that is this move is reversed that is 4 1 insert we uh, insert 1 4 one four into the tabo list so the tabo list is now one four uh, it has two spaces or uh, memory is sufficient to keep two moves but uh, currently we have one only one iteration there is uh, so there is only a single uh, 
uh, position available or a single movie is available. Then in the S2, we have seen the S2 is 2413 and F of S2 is 436. Then we find out another three uh, solutions from this one. F4213, that is swapping these two. We get 4213. The uh, solution is 4360. The fitness fund value is 460. Then F of 2143, that is 500. But the problem is, this is actually the previous solution itself. That is 2143. The move, 14. 14 is within the taboo list. So what we does is we reject this one. We doesn't consider this one. Then the next is F of 2431. 193 is uh, swapped together. So we will get 608. So out of these three, 460 is the best. Even if this one is uh, a taboo, this has a lower value. I mean, a, a lower fitness value. So lower in the sense, the value is higher, but the fitness is uh, lower in, the, in that sense. So now we update the taboo list with the next value also. That is here the uh, change was 422. So it is written as 24. The next item is also inserted into this one. This is the first item that was inserted and this is the second item that is inserted into the taboo list. Now we go to the S3. S3 is the previous uh, solution, the, the solution that we found out in the previous step that is 4213. Then F of S3 is 460. Then we go for another solutions. Three solutions are found out. F of 2413. This is already we have visited. <coughs> so uh, this is 400. Even if it, this is 436, the value is 436. It is within the taboo. So we are not considering that particular solution. That is, if the aspiration criteria was is selected, if an aspiration criteria is selected, in that case, this can also be considered. But since we are not considering any aspiration criteria right here, we are taking this 440 as the best to move among these three. So that is how it comes. So here the change is 192. The swapping is done with the 192. So that is inserted here. That is 2 and 1. So then the last one, the, uh, the value that was inserted first, this one, this 14. This one is removed from here. This one is removed from here. And by this procedure, it proceeds. It proceeds and after the fourth iteration, the best solution that is obtained is 408. And obviously more iterations may give you better values, but with this one we are ending it because of uh, uh, you understood how this uh, tabo search is being done. And the pros and cons the process it allows the non-improving solution that is to, uh, that can be accept, accepted that is uh, a non-improving solution is accepted it can be accepted then the use of the taboo list that is in order to avoid uh, duplicate in search the taboo list is avoided i i mean taboo list is used it can be the uh, uh, this particular method the taboo search can be applied to both the discrete as well as continuous solution spaces and uh, it can be used for larger and more difficult problems like uh, scheduling, quadratic assignment, vehicle routing, etc, etc. And the cons, the, uh, the disadvantages are there are too many parameters to be dis, uh, determined that is how the aspiration criteria is to be selected, what is the size of the taboo list how a taboo move is to be inserted and how it is it should be removed that is the tenure the tenure is also a problem etc etc and the number of iterations and in this case the number of iterations could be very large that is the taboo list the number of the taboo search the number of iterations can be very large and obviously uh, the global optimum may not be found out it depends on the parameter setting but in um, Many other cases, uh, finding out the global optimal solution is not dependent on the uh, parameter setting. But in the case of uh, this taboo search, uh, it is mostly finding out the global optimum uh, mostly depends on the parameter settings. And uh, that's all.
about the tabo list i mean tabo search thank you <laughs>